It has been a hotly debated topic for years in India, is Ram Setu real? Does it exist? Is it man-made or a natural creation? Various scientific studies and researchers in the past many years in India have failed to come to any conclusion, but we might finally have an answer about the existence of the mythological Ram Setu between India and Sri Lanka. The US-based TV station has hinted that such a structure may actually exist outside of mythology. Screen grab a promo released by the channel suggests that the bridge also called Adam's Bridge may not be a natural formation and may have been built by humans. Are the ancient Hindu myths of a land bridge connecting India and Sri Lanka true? Scientific analysis suggests they are, says text accompanying the promo. The show is citing images from a NASA satellite. The show claims that investigators have found a line of rocks 30 miles long between Sri Lanka and India. The stones in the image are sitting on a sandbar, which occurs in areas with shallow water. As geologist Aaron Argyllon explains, sand could accumulate between the land masses. An analysis of the limestones from the region of Ramsethu, between Thamban Island off Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka's Manar Island found on the seabed shows that they predate the sand, rose eds. Specifically, the 7,000-year-old rocks are sitting on sand that is 4,000 years old. Are the ancient Hindu myths of a land bridge connecting India and Sri Lanka true? Scientific analysis suggests they are. What One Earth Picked Out Twitter.com at Cogsley, Science Channel at Science Channel December 11, 2017 If proven beyond doubts, it will for once and ever settle the contentious issue. In the past the governments had been inconclusive about the mythical structure. In 2007 the then UPA government had told the Supreme Court that there was no historical evidence to establish the existence of Lord Ram or the other characters in Ramayana. In an affidavit filed before the Apex Court, the Archaeological Survey of India rejected the claim of the existence of the Ram Sethu Bridge in the area where the project was under construction. This was in the context of the Sethu Samudram shipping canal in the same region, which was an ambitious project by the then Tamil Nadu ruling party, the DMK, which was a UPA ally. BCCL many Hindu outfits had protested against the proposed project claiming that it would destroy Ram Sethu. Later in 2008, the government withdrew its affidavit and told the SC that Lord Ram himself had destroyed it. Senior advocate Fali S. Nariman, who appeared for the government, cited the 9th century Ramayana of Kamban and also the Padma Purana to tell the court that if Lord Rama constructed Ram Setu, he had also destroyed it. BCCL The government also contested the argument that Ram Setu was a place of worship and told the court that if it was breached, it would no longer be fit for worship. But with the BJ Plaid NDA in power, the government's stands on the matter also changed. Earlier this year, the Indian Council of Historical Research ICHR had announced to conduct an underwater exploration study on Ram Setu based on a proposal of Assam University. Another underwater archaeological study involving Indian archaeological exploration experts was also proposed earlier this year to study the existence of Ram Setu.